to move on before Gustavo shouts at me. And our next speaker is Maria Manea, who is from Portugal. And Maria is going to tell us today about experiments and how you can use experiments to get the kids involved in learning about astronomy. Maria, are you there? Hello. Yes. Hi. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Let me. Oh. <laughs> I just. I'm just searching. <laughs> I need to open first the slides and then share the screen. Now, here we are. Well, that looks good. Okay, so yeah, you just need to go into presenter mode so we've got the full okay, yes. the screen. Oh, yep, so that's good. You're good to go. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, first of all, I want to thank you um, to thank to the organizers because you accept my participation. It was a last minute participation, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely excited to, to show what my students do. Um, I want to send a big hug to Rosa Doran. I don't know if, you, if she is there. I'm uh, here. I'm here and watching oh, you. Awesome. <laughs> um, and uh, to Nelson and Ana Costa, I heard uh, Ana Costa name uh, a, few t a few minutes ago. Um, and uh, tell you that uh, the main reason I'm here are Nucleo team. So thank you, Nucleo. <laughs> um, my presentation, uh, I called it Teaching and Inspiring Students. Um, and my main goal is that it's, uh, uh, beside teaching, it's inspiring my students. Um, first, uh, first part, um, or in the first part, I try to put um, science, uh, space science and astronomy in context. And in second part, um, and, call, uh, and talk about some issues teachers still have and in second part um, my second part is about what i've been doing for uh, to inspire my students my humble um, participation in this big uh, goal that that is uh, teach astronomy um, to everyone uh, now uh, oh, i want to to refer that i belong to this school agrupamento scholars con deixa nova um, and it's an honor to work here because we, we have very good conditions for um, lots of activities. Uh, at, oh, my second slide. So uh, astronomy is the oldest science and uh, its mysteries have been an area of great curiosity for mankind since ancient times. But space is massive and full of things we have yet to discover and offers as huge opportunities in science and economic growth. Uh, and why teach astronomy in element elementary school? In the present time, we are facing countless challenges. In fact, 40% of the key competencies of the future will be different from those of today. And four out of five children entering school today will have jobs that do not yet exist. We need to consider space exploration as a career potential opportunity. And we teachers may help our students to discover that. We must provide them, uh, them information on space related subjects, helping discovering career opportunities and showing them that space science uh, can be fun and engaging. And we should start doing it in early levels. Oh, sorry, need to go back. Um, and why, uh, as, uh, the question is the same. Um, why teach astronomy to the, the young kids? Well, astronomy deals with fascination and the, uh, of the unknown and the unreachable. It uses tools and concepts and insights from various fundamental sciences. Uh, Alvaro Folhas talked about this uh, a few moments ago. And um, we can use um, astronomy to introduce other uh, areas of science. It also, it's also um, 
into a, an interesting subject to, to learn uh, observation techniques, theory, analysis, modeling, uh, etc. And we can use uh, uh, various di di diverse uh, didactical approaches. And my, my question, uh, I think uh, almost my, all my life was this, are we, are we doing enough for uh, astronomy and science? Uh, well, I made some uh, literature review and uh, I'm here some, some uh, data, but uh, they, the data are a little bit uh, uh, old. <laughs> but I think uh, some of these problems, that's the reason why I wrote it, wrote it here, uh, still um, are, uh, are um, um, in the mind of the teachers today. So teachers, particularly at the elementary level, as me, have a li little or no background in astronomy or astronomy teaching. It's, it, it has been very hard for me to, to understand um, how to um, teach astronomy to my students in the right way, because I have no background in, on it. Um, and uh, the reason uh, I met Rosa and the, the, the other elements of the team um, was because I needed to learn more about astronomy uh, and space science. Uh, another issue is astronomy, astron astronomical concepts must be matched to the students' levels of intellectual development. So we, we, we cannot teach uh, young people the same way we teach secondary school. And almost all the activities, I, I, not almost, not, not all, but um, I don't know if uh, um, there were, um, or there are here some uh, um, primary school teacher, because I think we need to, uh, to lose our, 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 uh, our fear <laughs> of uh, dealing with, this, with these issues we, or with this uh, subject. The classical lecture textbook is another issue because teachers uh, in Portugal, we have the, the program and we teach astronomy by the, the, the textbook. And sometimes we forgot um, hands-on activities and those activities are the best for students and uh, practical work is a problem stars come out at night the students don't <laughs> it's another issue and the lack of resources teachers always uh, talk about uh, oh I don't have a telescope I don't know how to use it if I have some uh, we need computers internet uh, but there are certain certainly useful um, tools, simple tools, and our eyes were uh, an essential and a very good tool to, to uh, observe and try to understand some of the, the astronomy phenomena. Astronomy is often considered, considered irrelevant by education authorities because it has no apparent economic value. And in many parts of the world, students' interests in science is less than it was a generation, no, uh, two or three generations ago. They know um, business and economics offer much higher salaries. And uh, Alvaro told this uh, in uh, his presentation, perhaps astronomy can rekindle students' interests in science. So what can we, we do? In one hand, I think we need to ask to um, specialize help from astronomers and ast astronomy educators. Uh, we need teachers training courses. Uh, we need the, the experts be available and supportive uh, to us. And uh, we, we need um, resources. Um, resources that can be used by, by the, the children, the, the, the students. Uh, I marked here some um, programs, educational programs, um, things uh, I, I discovered, uh, well, when I was wondering how can I learn about astronomy, I, 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 I 
I look for uh, for programs for training programs, and uh, those th these ones are some and nuclear of course are here. So, uh, in another hand, teachers. What can teachers do to to enhance uh, astronomy um, in uh, elementary school? Well, practical approach, project-based learning, uh, inquiry-based teaching, hands-on activities. Um, they improve. Uh, they 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 show how science works, improve levels of learning and curiosity, promotes meaningful learning, develop cross-curriculum skills, increase, increases motivation, improves attitude and direction. And uh, attending teacher training courses, it's very important to upgrade the teaching and the learning process to prepare students for the future. And we need to be humble because we need the, I think the the main issue we have uh, that is uh, to deal with this different subjects of uh, astronomy and space and uh, space science um, if you if we ask for help i think we can deal with them now I, how did i start i think you know some of the, <laughs> these people <laughs> that are here this is Sophocles Sotirius, Rosa knows him. And I began uh, my, my story in astronomy uh, in Crete, Retimno, Crete, in 2009. Uh, then I, I became uh, um, uh, re related to the themes we, we studied there and, uh, and the Cosmo repository and this, uh, after, well, not of, uh, four years, uh, the three or four years, I went there and I found a project and I discovered Dark Skies Rangers. Uh, in, in 2013, my students, uh, small students, you see, first grade students, um, made with the help of their parents several projects. And they, here we have Rosa and they show their uh, projects himself uh, in front of lots of scientists, cosmologists, astronomers in Lisbon. And they won several prizes and they, with uh, Connie Walker gave us uh, a symbol of the Galileo students, the first ones who, who they call us the first Galileo students in the world. Uh, then, I, I continue my work with um, Nucleo. Um, I had some um, collaboration of Nucleo in my school, some, uh, some events, workshops. We talk about uh, um, astronomy and the uh, environment. And in 2014, uh, my student uh, made this wonderful uh, creativity uh, craft and uh, she won a prize. Um, so here we have a sun observation, my, uh, an event provided uh, by Nucleo. This is Nelson. <laughs> and this is Rosa Duran in my class. Uh, but when I and Rosa talk about and uh, when we um, made the arrangements for the, the, the courses. Um, the, 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 the training to students was, uh, was made in every classrooms, not only in my classroom. Uh, here we went with, this, with the same, same subject. We had studied, me and my students, in, uh, sorry, uh, to Dark Sky Rangers. Uh, in 2015, my students improved their works and we went to a Mr. conference. Um, they, they had to defend their work in front of those um, scientists and they won two distinctions, two honor, honor mentions. Then I made, um, well, I'm always curious. I'm always searching for new projects, new 
partnerships and uh, here uh, I met in uh, 2018, 2019, uh, I met Spaceway, a Portuguese organization of young professionals. Um, they make uh, workshops for uh, water rockets and uh, I invited them to make one workshop in my school. So they co collaborated with my school for a workshop. 50 students, six to 10 years old, learn about basic concepts of rock, rocket engineering. And with disposable materials, build water rockets. In the end, the students and Spaceway team launched those water rockets for about 300 primary school uh, students, sorry. Um, last year, last year, last school year, uh, my colleague Georgine and I, we started um, Enzyme Science Project um, and uh, we carried out um, that project, that project that was um, as the, um, the goal to, to show experiences, uh, each student should uh, show one experience prepared by him and the family and uh, they need to show it to every other students in the class. So we had a wonderful surprise. One year after the Spaceway um, made a workshop in our school, a nine years old student, Tomas, presented a rocket built by him and his father. And uh, he presented his work at school by himself. Uh, uh, without help and made a perfect demonstration of the use of air propulsion uh, and launched the air rocket. Both re related experiments in uh, 2019 and 2020 showed us it's possible to teach and inspire young people towards science and space subjects, even when projects seem unreachable in, this, in these ages. At the time, uh, Tomas, rocket launch was so amazing and unexpected that we forgot to record it. Here we have Tomas presenting to the two classes uh, project and he named the, the, these children for, uh, for some help. Here we have Tomas um, preparing things and he launched the rocket alone and is running to get it and to show it to, to us. But uh, as we didn't have the, the film, so last Monday, uh, we made the holidays remake. We made a workshop at the library here uh, where I work in my, in my town. And I've got something for you to show. It's in Portuguese. But I think the one picture is better than a thousand words. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, sorry, I stopped it. <laughs> Thank you. 
atenção e quando, quando tem que entrar com a grama, o foguete uh, sairá disparado. Maria, I think I have to jump in at that point. We had to let the rocket go. It's it's almost finished. It's last image. Okay, there you go. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, lots of comments in the chat from, from friends and colleagues of yours for sure, um, but we're a little bit out of time. So I think we're gonna have to move on at that point, but thank you very much for that a really nice example of some of the stuff you can do with uh, very basic material. Rosa, uh, you're there? You're there. I'm here. Thank you, Conceição. It was uh, awesome to see that you almost made me cry, but I'm, I'm the next chair, so I don't have that privilege right now. Thank you so much. It's very good to see your work recognized. That's good too. Thank you.